There's a rhyme and a reason to the game development process. Game gets announced, we get excited. Game gets developed, game goes gold. Game comes out, we get to play it, everybody's happy. But that's not always the way it goes. No matter how great a game sounds from the outset or how massive the studio making it may be, sometimes things just don't pan out for one reason or another. If we're lucky, it's just a delay or four, but sometimes the most promising game concepts can't make it out of development hell. I'm Jess from What Culture. These are 10 amazing games from last generation that were never made. Number 10, Deep Down. Let's start this list of missed opportunities with a little hope since we aren't totally certain Capcom's Deep Down isn't happening. That said, the dungeon crawler, which was set to be played with up to three others and developed by Yoshinori Ono of Street Fighter fame, doesn't sound like it's gonna happen. Deep Down was first revealed alongside the debut of the PS4 in early 2013. In the reveal trailer, we got a real Souls-esque vibe with an armor-clad warrior fighting a fearsome dragon. The game was to be set around a group called the Ravens, living in New York in 2094. They're able to recover moments in history via contact with ancient objects, and long story short, they end up back in 15th century Bohemia. It was announced in 2014 that the game was gonna go free to play, and then in 2015 that the scope was set to be expanded. I guess it got away from them at that point because it's been pretty much radio silence since then. The trademark was extended in 2018, and in 2019, Ono gave fans of the concept hope, saying, quote, the game has not been completely given up on. He uh, then left Capcom the next year, so yeah, look, not a great sign. Number nine, Titan. Despite being an absolute um, titan of the games industry, at the point they were looking into making Titan, Blizzard only had three major franchises. Titan was set to be their fourth new IP, a massively multiplayer online class-based shooter. Titan would have let you choose a character from a selection, earn and spend skill points, and inhabit a sci-fi version of Earth. Blizzard has been pretty transparent about their issues with Titan's development. The game's complexities got out of hand and it just couldn't hit the heights of the expectations set after its billing as Blizzard's new expansive AAA next-gen game. Work on the game started in 2007. It was allegedly playable in 2011 and due to be released in 2013. Though it wasn't announced to the public at the time, the game was internally cancelled in 2013 due to development pipeline problems. On the bright side, much of the team who were working on Titan, including Overwatch director Jeff Kaplan, ended up making Overwatch instead. So it's not all bad news. Number 8, Shadow Realms. An action role-playing game from Bioware is sure to perk up the ears. It generated quite a bit of pre-release hype for its episodic 4 vs 1 format, choice of classes, and constantly evolving missions and game world. Players will be able to carve their own paths through the story, and there was set to be a ton of deep lore and customization. The game would take place across the Earth and a parallel world called Embra, where heroes imbued with powers are awakened to face off against the Shadow Legion. In 2015, in 2015, the game was ultimately abandoned so Bioware could focus on Dragon Age Inquisition and Mass Effect Andromeda. And hey, one of those is a really good game. I'm okay with it. Bioware launched a spiritual successor to Shadow Realms called Breach, but that was also canned shortly after its Steam Early Access debut. Number 7, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots. Tom Clancy is certainly a reliable household name for shooter fans, so inevitably when Patriots was revealed on the cover of Game Informer's December 2011 issue, Issue, there was a ton of hype. Though from the ashes of Patriots, Siege was born, the game was pretty fundamentally different from what Siege became. The game centered around a group called Team Rainbow, called in to take care of the domestic terrorist group called the True Patriots. The trailer dropped in 2011, but in 2012, Ubisoft dropped the game's creative director, narrative director, design lead, and animation director from the project which is like a lot of important people. In 2013, it was announced the game was still coming, but it had now been made for the PS4 and Xbox One. In 2014, it was announced Patriots was entirely scrapped, with some speculating it was due to the premise being too controversial. At least we got Siege out of the whole ordeal just a year later though. Number six, Sleeping Dogs 2. Sleeping Dogs is a huge cult favorite, and it's always been a sore spot among fans that the game never got a sequel. Well, in fact, it almost did. So this isn't quite as established as the other 
the cancelled games on this list as it was never officially announced, but sources revealed a pretty extensive design document was leaked that shows what Square Enix were planning. Developer United Front Games had an idea for a very ambitious sequel that would arrive on PS4 and Xbox One. Bigger than the original, there'd be endless procedurally generated quests, cloud-based saves that could integrate multiple players' single-player experiences and change the state of the game world, and a mobile app that let players control the city's police force. Yeah, ambitious may have been an understatement. Unfortunately, Square Enix was suffering pretty bad losses in 2013 when it had to pass on finishing the game, and it opted to shift its focus to monetizing its mobile properties. Unfortunately, United Front Games closed in 2016, putting to bed any hope for a Sleeping Dogs sequel. Number 5. Star Wars Project Ragtag This is the first but not the last time a Star Wars game will appear on this list. This particular entry refers to the untitled Visceral Games project, that was to be helmed by Uncharted head writer and creative director Amy Hennig. Though this project eventually became Fallen Order, the original premise for Hennig's Star Wars adventure sounded quite a bit different. Initially teased in 2014, the game sounded like it would be a linear Uncharted-esque experience, but in the Star Wars universe, that was supposedly set to follow a band of smugglers and thieves in their adventures around the galaxy. EA ultimately worried that a single-player game wouldn't be able to engage players long-term in the way that games like Destiny were doing at the time, so they decided to put a pin in it. Much like the crappy ending to the Sleeping Dogs 2 story, Visceral Games was shuttered by EA in 2017, and though the game was shifted to EA Vancouver, it was quietly cancelled outright in 2019. Number 4. Scalebound It sounded like Platinum Games, the studio behind heavy hitters Bayonetta and Nier Automata, really had a gem on their hands with their dragon-rific hack-and-slash RPG, Scalebound. Early footage of the game was genuinely enchanting. It promised an incredibly gorgeous world to explore, you get to have a pet dragon, and there'd be top-tier combat. It appears something must have soured though, as the day Microsoft announced the game's cancellation is the same day they revealed they would be parting ways with Platinum Games. There was plenty of hype between the game's 2014 debut and its 2017 cancellation, so the abrupt news that Scalebound was no more certainly came as a shock to excited fans. Though Platinum Games later stated that they and Microsoft failed at delivering on the project, just last year they expressed an interest to work on the game once more, but at present the IP is owned by Microsoft. Number 3. Fable Legends Another hotly anticipated Xbox One console exclusive that broke gamers' hearts was Fable Legends. Officially cancelled in 2016, the game was set to reinvigorate the fan favourite series by combining Fable's brimming charisma with multiplayer elements in an interactive world. The plan was to emulate games like Evolve, where one player acted as the villain and the other four would be the good guys. The game was delayed multiple times before its cancellation, held a short-lived beta, and shifted to a free-to-play model, which if we've learned anything from this list so far is not a good sign. Legends was set to have unique characters, with the option to purchase new heroes with in-game or real-world currency. Microsoft dealt us another gut punch when they both cancelled the game and closed Fable developer Lionhead Studios in 2016. Number 2. Silent Hills Yep, you knew this one was coming. The Norman Reedus starring Hideo Kojima helmed Silent Hills has to have been one of the most excitement-inducing announcements in recent years. It captured the news headlines and gamers' hearts in large part due to its terrifying playable teaser, PT. But the premise itself mesmerized horror fans as well. Despite Kojima's fame as a storyteller and Guillermo del Toro on board as co-director, Konami canned Silent Hills in the same period as their nasty falling out with Kojima. Though Silent Hills seemed like it would be a miraculous rebirth for fans of the Silent Hill series, the same masterminds went on to create Death Stranding. It's not the horror game Silent Hill fans would have been looking for, but it's a bloody well done action adventure slash walking simulator in my opinion. Number 1. Star Wars 1313 Honestly, this one is just up the top because it's the one that I'm saltiest about. 1313 was set to put you in the shoes of Boba Fett, doing your bounty hunter thing on Coruscant's subterranean level 1313. It had trade lightsabers for blasters and Jedi high-mindedness for cantina underbellies. The third-person action game had cover-based combat, 
gorgeous visuals and what looked to be an impressive level of style. Unfortunately, 1313 fell under the wheel of Disney when they shut down LucasArts in 2013. We can only hope that one of the many Star Wars games that are in development right now emulates what the team behind 1313 were trying to achieve because it looked seriously cool. Let me know down in that comment section which cancelled games you're still not over. I've been Jess for What Culture. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald, but do stay tuned to us here for plenty more content.